This is the first unit of your material balance course. There will be four units covered in this chapter, namely units and dimension, numerical calculations and estimation, dimensional homogeneity, and data processing and presentations. This recorded lecture serves as your lecture notes for the course. You should refer to the attached handouts for in-class activities. Please make sure you have all the handouts ready for you to be able to participate in class. At the end of this chapter, you shall be able to convert values between different units. You can write the correct significant figures for numbers. You can use dimensional analysis to check for proper units used in equations. And finally, you can correctly process and present your experimental data. A measured or counted quantity has a numerical value, which is the magnitude, and a unit, which is a character of the measured values. Just remember, treat units like quantities. Units have to be the same when you perform addition or subtraction, but they can differ if you form multiplications or divisions. The units can cancel each others, or they can stay if they are different. A system of units has the following components, base unit, multiple units, derived units, and compound unit. In the base unit, there are very basic seven dimension use, which are length, temperature, luminosity, electric current, amount of substance, mass, and time. Now, check what are the different units used for the different system of units that we have in the world. For all seven dimensions, can you actually identify what are the different units used in SI, CGS, and American Engineering System? How can you actually convert the values that present in one system to the others? Factors for converting from one system of units to another can be determined by taking ratios of quantities as listed in the conversion table. By using the information and values given in the conversion table, you can convert, for example, from unit newton to pound force using the dimensions under force category. This is the end of the module. Please refer to the next module for the next section.